if that didn't last long, but lucky for you, this will be a much shorter video. So I received this pamphlet in the mail and it looked like it had been vandalized. So after doing a little restoration on it, I read it cover to cover and I wanted to share my thoughts on the candidates featured within it. So, um, yeah, please enjoy. This is the first candidate. They are independent. But for the purposes of this video, we will call them Tan Stone Cold Steve Austin. They want to make London strong. And this is by encouraging everybody to take control of their health. But if he doesn't have a pledge offering all adults in London free gym membership so they can get next like Mike Tyson, I don't see the point. He also wants to make houses strong and his policy for tackling knife crime is to make parents stand in court if their children are caught with blades. This is the second candidate. They are also an independent. They are a self-described social entrepreneur but is an admitted CEO and wants to run London like a business. What could ever go wrong with that approach? They will also take a zero BS approach to rebuilding London. This candidate wants to bring back the buzz of London by making everybody subscribe to the Sigma grind mindset but at least they are aware that homelessness is a political choice. This is the incumbent mayor from the Labour Party. He wants to continue giving free school meals which is only a good thing. He also wants to defend diversity and unite the communities. But he also wants to be tough on crime by recruiting 1300 more police officers. This is the candidate from the Animal Welfare Party. But not to worry because they also care about the welfare of humans. All of their policies are quite good and they never have to mention the police once. Maybe you should give them a closer look. This is the Social Democratic Party. They hate everything to do with woke, DEI and identity politics. They believe political correctness is interfering with law and order, which means the police are refusing to stop crimes because they can't say the N word. Despite believing that identity politics divides us, the candidate tells us that they are Christian. They have also brought a legal case against the NHS due to bullying they experienced after acting as a whistleblower by speaking out against racism and religious discrimination. This is the Liberal Democrats candidate. This is a waste of two pages because you can't trust anything the Lib Dems say or write. And I'll be damned if I vote for anyone that has the last name Blackie. This is the Conservative Party. They want to make the cost of travelling around London cheaper, but they never mention public transport once. They also want to build affordable housing, but only if you want to start a family. So it means if you are a single person trying to live in London, you might as well piss off out of the capital. This is the Green Party. They really want to tackle the emerging climate emergency. They also want to establish a rent commission therefore making London a better place to rent in. They also want to bring down the daily cost of travelling, but they are actually focusing on public transport. The Green Party didn't mention adding more police officers to the street, instead focusing on police reform. This is the Reform UK Party. They want to see more death and destruction on London roads by eliminating the 20 miles per hour speed limit and making the cycle lanes more thin. This is another independent candidate. They are also a chairman, CEO, board member and strategic advisor. They want to bring back a smile for all Londoners by offering every single policy imaginable. This is the Britain first candidate. This person believes that London is fast becoming a third world cesspit and is being taken over by radical Islamist extremists. This candidate is the first one to include quotes from their supporters. One supporter believes that London spends billions on migrant hotels and another supporter believes that the police is too woke. These are some of the best quotes that they could find. <laughs> They also write, Britain is Christian, which means they believe Britain is a sentient being. So yeah, that was just a quick summary of what I thought of the different candidates. Um, yeah, no recommendations really. Um, I'm not even going to tell you to go and vote, do what you want. I just wanted to share my thoughts on it all. Um, but yeah. Until next time, ciao.